Okay, in this video, I'm going to solve a simple problem on simple strain. Here is the problem. The rigid bar BDE is supported by two links, AB and CD. Link AB is made of aluminum with modulus of elasticity equal to 70 gigapascal and has a cross-sectional area of 500 millimeter square. While link CD is made of steel with E equal to 200 gigapascal and has a cross-sectional area of 600 millimeter square. For the 30 kilonewton force shown, determine the deflection of point B, the deflection of point D, and the deflection of point E. Okay. So what we'll do is to determine the forces of links E, B, and C, D. So first, we will sum up moment about B. And since the moment of 30 kilonewtons is clockwise, this must be countered by a counterclockwise moment. So therefore, the force of link CD must be directed upward or simply compression. O, oh, i-compress niya ang CD. Ah, so. Tension, tension, sorry. Tension. <clears throat> okay, so. Say so we cut a section uh, sa links A, B, and C, D. And then first, identify the force of links C, D. It's tensile. So upward. And then we sum up moment. If C, D times 0.2 minus 30 kilonewtons times distance 0 0.6. So... If CD is 90 kilo newtons tension. <clears throat> now, since if CD is equal to 90 and we only have 30, so to balance, the force of EB must be directed downward. Okay, must be bigger man ang upward force, which is 90. And the downward force is only 30, so kulang taog downward force. So, so to determine EV, we sum up force sa vertical. And this is downward. No? Para mabalance. Yeah. So, if CD 90 minus 30 minus FEB. And FEB is equal to 60 kilo newtons compression. No? So, <clears throat> Next is since the force is already known, we can compute for the deformation. Since all the other values are given, length, area, modulus of elasticity. Okay. So for A, okay, link AB, the length is 0.3 meters. The area is 500 and modulus of elasticity is 70 gigapascal. This is the formula. And the units must be expressed in newtons and millimeters. So the force of EB, which is 60 kilonewtons, must be converted to newtons. The length must be converted to millimeters. The area is already in millimeters square. And then E from gigapascal will be converted to megapascal. This one, 60,000. 0.3 meters is 300 millimeters. The area is 500. E is 70 giga. So we will multiply it by 1000 para megapascal. And the unit of delta is in millimeters. Shortening, no? Since the internal force is kick compression. So shortening. <clears throat> For link CD, this is the answer of letter A. For link C, D. Okay. This is the expression for, or this is the values of P, L, A, and E. 
the force is 90 kilonewtons or 90,000 newtons. Length 400 millimeters. Area given E200 giga pascal. Elongation since the force is tensile. Okay, this is the answer of letter B. Deflection of B. So, to determine the reflection of E, okay, we plot the bar BDE. <clears throat> okay, this is bar BDE. And kung i-plot na to ang delta AB, which is shortening, then ma-shortening AB, therefore point B will move upward. Shortening one. So, uh, mag-move siya. This is 0.5143. While ang CD... Uh, with the distance of point two from B, oh, elongation since tensile man, so must stretch ang link CD. So D will move downward by a distance of point three. This is point three millimeters. And then we connect bar BDE. So BDE connect. Okay, and the vertical distance is the deflection of E. This is the deflection of E. We denote this one as Y sub E. So how do we get or how do we solve Y sub E? By ratio and proportion. But first, we determine this distance. No? Para sa similar triangles na one. Uh, ratio proportion. Vertical is to horizontal. Vertical is to horizontal. So we denote this distance as X. And then we do ratio and proportion. 0. 0.5143 over X equals 0. 0.3 over this distance. 0. 0.2 minus X. And using your calculator, X is equal to 1.1263 meters. After this, we cannot solve for Y sub E. So, this is 0 0.4, the distance from D to E. So, our issue is this one. 0 0.5143 over X equals Y sub E over this one. Point, point 0.4 plus point 0.2 minus x or simply point 0.6 minus x. Point 0.6 minus x. So y sub e over point 0.6 minus x equals either a point 0.3 over point 0.2 minus x or this one, point 0.5143 over x. Same now. And you substitute 0 0.1263 here, and we can solve for Y sub E. It's 1.93 millimeters. Okay, that's the final answer. Thank you for watching.